welcome back to Meet Your Monica. So in today's video, we are baking, y'all. Yes, we are gonna be baking. So let me tell you all how I got into all of this, okay? So Darkest and I was on the phone talking. She was making some sweet potato pie. You know, I was like, oh, I've been having a taste for some sweet potato pie. And I was like, I can't wait until, you know, Thanksgiving. Why do we think we have to wait until a certain holiday to eat a certain food, right? <laughs> so anyway, I was like, oh, you need to make me a sweet potato pie. So that's just how me and Dorcas joke around. And so anyway, I was telling her that I wanted one of her sweet potato pies because Dorcas makes the best, okay? The best sweet potato pie. And she was like, well, I want some red velvet uh, cupcakes. So I was like, well, okay. I really don't feel like getting in the kitchen making any red velvet cupcakes. She really didn't feel like getting in the kitchen making the sweet potato pie. So I was like, okay, well, I'll come over and we'll just both get in the kitchen together. Because it's always better when you're in the kitchen with somebody else, right? So that's how all of this came about. And I'm pretty sure y'all don't mind watching us bake. Now, let me tell y'all. I cannot give y'all my red velvet recipe. I can't do it. It's, it's still a secret recipe. I can let y'all watch me make it, but I cannot give it out. I may decide to open back up one day, honey, and nobody red velvet tastes like mine, okay? A lot of customers have told me they still can't find anybody's red velvet cake that beat mine out, so I can't get that recipe out. But anyway, Darkest, she has a recipe on her sweet potato pie, so y'all can try it. So anyway, I'm going to show y'all everything that I'm taking because some stuff she doesn't have for the red velvet, and I still have everything I need for red velvet. So I'm going to show you all this, and then we're going to get to going to Darkest house, y'all. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all enjoying? I'm going to say the Christmas music. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to play too much of it because I have to save some of it for November and December, y'all. So, I'll play a little bit here and there. That way, you all can get, you know, to me, Christmas music is so relaxing to me. Like, having a tree up is so relaxing. I'm about to tell my husband to pull down a Christmas tree because he already has to go into the attic to get some fall decor. That's kind of what has me on hold right now with some of the fall decor videos. But, so once he gets those out, Jaden told me the other day, she's like, Mom, I'm ready for my Christmas tree to be put up in my room. So, I don't know. Listen, if you feel like putting your Christmas stuff up, put it up. It's your house. You grown. You the only one pay the bills there. So, that's where I am right now. So, don't be surprised if Y'all see Christmas trees up over here in the cold house, okay? Because it's all about relaxation over here. We want to, hmm, that's what we want to do over here, okay? So let me quit acting up with y'all. Let me show y'all what I have. I need to pack my stuff up. I need to pack my baby up so we can hit the road. So this is everything that I'm going to be taking to Darkest House. I have my cupcake liners, my red food color. Vinegar, I have buttermilk, vanilla, and here I have um, cocoa powder, and then I have baking powder, no, baking soda, and then I have my um, cake spatula that I like to scoop the batter out with, and then I have my cup that's the perfect size for um, the cupcakes for the batter, the perfect amount for the cupcake batter. And Darkest has everything else at her house. So, I will see you guys when I get the Darkest house. Okay, y'all. So, I made it to the Alice house. Okay? Let me tell y'all something. First of all, that's why I picked up so much stuff. I didn't show y'all the other stuff that I brought over here. I'm going to have to show y'all the other stuff. Listen, y'all. So, first of all... I knew what type of person she was. You know, she a little ratchet and don't care about how she presents stuff, right? <laughs> so I knew she was gonna have these little ugly plain cupcake liners, right? So she just, she just keep them. So that's why I brought my own. Y'all see this? 
Presentation is everything. She don't care about that kind of stuff. And then I told her I needed baking soda. Do y'all see what this is? This is baking powder. Can I correct you on something? I do care about presentation when it really matters. Well, it must don't ever matter. It matters. Then, so, you know, I'm thinking, everybody have like measuring spoons, mm -hmm. teaspoons, tablespoons, like everybody have a set. No, they don't. Well, that's what you get for Christmas. So back to what I was saying. I'm buying my own. I don't need that for Christmas. Everybody has a set, right? So me, I'm thinking, okay, even my mama has a set of measuring spoons. Don't bring her into this. Poochie even have one. Don't bring her into this. And she don't even bake. Let's ask the people. Does everyone have a set of measuring spoons? Let me know in the comments. But moving on, <laughs> I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about this one over here. Oh, she talking about y'all too. So <laughs> she better. Oh, <laughs> we've been fighting all day. All day. We've been fighting all day. Cause you got one. She on the fence. <laughs> part of her is part of her is saved, and part of her is a sinner. <laughs> she fifty fifty. <laughs> Cut the tape. I ain't cutting the tape. Let me let me hold on. Let me put y'all up. Okay. Put me out here, man. So she fit the fit. The part of her is a Christian, and part of her is a sinner. Don't let her fool you. Okay. I'm not lukewarm, honey. You show sure like you fit the fit. <laughs> anyway, back to the spoon. So, I, you know me. I'm thinking. Okay, I can bring everything else. I know she. I know she probably don't have like you know red food color on hand or certain stuff. I know she's not gonna have on hand, right? How do you only have one, <laughs> one measuring spoon? It is not even a teaspoon. It's a fourth of a teaspoon. How you, so I'm glad I'm a baker and I know how to work around it. How do you have a baking pan? <laughs> But no dang on teaspoons, y'all. Because I cook from the heart, from the soul. That's why. And that's why that junk be nasty. I'll just play y'all my friends. But anyway, I'm finna get to show. I want to show y'all. I already told y'all at home. I can't give y'all my recipe. I ain't even. I'm gonna have to hide it from Darkness. Oh, I'm paying attention. Because Darkness will be trying to. She'll be around here trying to sell stuff for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I got y'all. Okay? I got y'all. <laughs> and then y'all gonna see a video coming up talking about red, red, red. Exactly. exactly. So anyway, I'm gonna show y'all just some tips, okay, that I do and that y'all need to do when y'all are baking red velvet cupcakes. Not like yellow cupcakes, but red velvet because of the amount of, you got it, vegetable oil that you have in, or whatever type of oil you choose to put in there. So let me show y'all one of my, um, just one tip that I have for y'all that's getting ready to bake red velvet this holiday season. Okay, so let me give y'all a little tip. So this is something that I learned when I first start when I first started baking, is that you just put some rice, like uncooked rice, like that, because you ever notice darkest when you make you ever made red velvet? Yeah. So you ever notice like if you made cupcakes, they was kind of like burnt on the bottom or it was yeah. like overcooked. That's why. Because I mean, not me, but I've seen other people burn it. Right. Y'all see <laughs> lying. <laughs> I just got what she said, y'all. Not me, but of course I see others. But I learned this tip years ago. So you put rice in the um, bottom of the pan. That way, the heat will go to the rice. Mm -hmm. And then the grease from the batter, it'll go to the rice instead of like burning on the bottom. So oh, cool. that's, that's a tip if y'all wonder why. Now don't do this. I, asked, I told somebody this tip. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know what they did? Put it in their oh, oh, they put the batter on. Yeah, top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. no, that is not what I said. Oh wow, I know they were mad. Y'all got to excuse these shaking hands. Don't <laughs> <laughs> I already know about them, y'all. She already know about them. But anyway, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get started on the batter, and then I'll come back and show y'all how it looks. Don't you ever did this? Mm -hmm. See? 
Nope. But you know what? You learn stuff. As you go, you As learn you stuff. Trial and error. Ooh, dog. Ooh, Lord. Dog. I was all about to get you with this phone. <laughs> Duh, why you did you go? You sitting right here with her and you asked me to do what? What did you do? I got high no ED. What do you mean? Tell her she was coming. Okay, but you knew I was on the way, right? Tell her, Doug. Uh, yeah. Doug, tell her family, hey. So you should. Tell her family, hey, Doug, and give me some love. Mm -hmm. Doug, you been to video. Doug, got me on video. Really? <laughs> Doug, I got y'all some red pepper cupcakes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, you shouldn't have been here. Man, no. Don't have almost got spoon to do. Oh, no. I gave my heart away. Went a bit too far. This is my method, y'all. This the method right here. Mm -hmm. And then, boom. Fuck, oh, you got the oven? Yeah. Oh, she's got the oven ready for me. See, I told y'all this sous chef. Yeah, by cutting the oven out, I don't know what kind of sous chef yes. this is. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, um, what is your, well, let me ask my friend first. What, what is your favorite, since we have Thanksgiving coming up next mm -hmm. month, what's your favorite dessert? Doing that time, it's this time of the year. What is my favorite dessert? Mm -hmm. Sweet potato pie. Out my soup. <laughs> Sweet potato, potato pie. pie. I'm so plain, like I know how to make all little fancy stuff, but I'm so plain, like I know how to make German chocolate, Italian mm -hmm. cream, you know, just all of that. But I'm just that and pound cake. That's that's yep. what that's what keep it simple. Right. I make the chocolate chip cookies and the pound cake at our house. Yep. I don't even do the sweet potato pie because I'm the only one that eats sweet potato pie. Oh, yeah, so they ain't gonna eat it. Yeah, the Mitchell's, he'll eat it every now and then, but the kids are very picky when it comes to dessert. They just like cookies and um, pound cake. Some people like hair cake. Yeah, I make a good hair cake. Yeah, I ain't had it in a minute. Carrot yeah. cake, and usually. I save like the banana pudding and stuff like that for the 4th of July. The banana pudding, yeah, the um, strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that I have I haven't made is like an Oreo, uh, what they call it? Like an ice cream cake. Okay. Is it an ice cream cake? Sure My mama like used it. to make this Mississippi mug pie. You ever heard of that? Yeah, I heard of it. She used to make that. I said I may try that one day, but I have to find somebody to give it to. Like if I make it on video, like a lot of stuff I make y'all, if I'm making it for video purposes, I just find like a friend yeah. or a family member to give it to because... Little picky kids ain't gonna eat it. Yeah, they ain't gonna eat it. And I ain't finna just have it up in there. Yeah, going to waste. But this is like, this is the perfect consistency, y'all. This is how mm -hmm. I like my red velvet. I'll let y'all know. There you go. And you know, I already told y'all, Darkness, she has the best sweet potato pie. <laughs> she been trying to get me to make it, and I don't know how I can make it, but who be wanting to make someone that got somebody that's to make it? That's what I'm saying, like, get the person who know how to do right. it. Right. So that's what me and Darkness do. We, we, you know, you make this good, you make it funny, I make it right. good. You swap and serve. Right. So that's, that's how we do that. And you want to bake it, depending on your oven. Darkness has this gas, right? Is it? No, it's electric. Is electric? Yeah. Um. So I may put it on 325 just because I don't know how her oven yeah. bakes. 
But at home, I put mine on 350. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, we'll see. And, but sometimes, depending on the time of the year, you may need to change it. People don't know that. Right. Like, a lot of times, you need to change your temp just depending on what time of year it is. Like, if it's raining outside mm-hmm. and all of that stuff. So, a lot of people that don't makes do sense. that. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to pop these in the oven. And then, we're going to start on the um, cream cheese icing. That was quick. Look at the y'all. That's why I told you I need to come. I need to have somebody. When I have somebody in the kitchen with me, right. I said, look at her pouring this stuff now quick. Let me see. What did I tell your husband? <laughs> what you got? She a little tattletale. She always want to tell her something. Look at her trying to move all fast. That's what, when I don't think about it, I move fast. But when I sit down by it, baby, <laughs> I don't move fast. Like, Dougie, <laughs> what is the oven? Don't weigh like a thousand pounds. What the heck? probably been in there since his house was built. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. We'll see y'all. Look at my baby. Hey, Max. Oh, man. Y'all, my baby will follow me everywhere. I went, I went to use the day after work. I yeah. opened the door, Max, like, right security, there. He's a security guard. Baby. It's like having a mile on number two. Mm-mm-mm. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we are back. One-on-one baking with Monica. And I don't know who else in the kitchen. But anyway, y'all. Darkest. <laughs> <laughs> My boo Darkest over there working as always, y'all. I don't know everything. Me and Darkest, we could be out on some type of girl's date. She gonna be on her phone doing something. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all how I put these together. I have my pecans right here. I hope I'm in angle. Can y'all see? Okay. I have my crushed pecans right here. And then I also made some cake crumbs. This here. Only you. And I'm going to do half and half because your hood would say he like pecans. So I'm going to just show y'all real quick how to ice it. Ooh, Dark, you think I forgot how to do this? I think I don't know if you still got cream. Let me see. Let me see if I still got y'all. Ooh, I still got it. <laughs> Look at that. And then what I do is, ooh, these so soft, y'all. Let me see if y'all can see. It looks so good. What is it? Ooh, it ain't even focus. It ain't focusing, y'all. It ain't focusing. Uh-uh. I wonder why not. I don't know why it's like. No, I can't get it to focus, y'all. But I think it's because of how I got the camera set. But anyway, so then I just take the pecans and my hands clean, y'all. And then I go around the edges. I'll show y'all a close-up when I'm done. And that's how I do it, y'all. Nice. And then with the crumbs, you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to show y'all the one with the crumbs. I'm going to have to take them out real quick. Okay, y'all. So I already iced everything up. Let me get darkest um uh, her cake stand. Make it cute, friend. <laughs> oh, her husband come home. She can act like she oh, oh I forgot Doug was already. I here. know, I can't even act like I made him. That's okay, friend. <laughs> you can make the phone when when whenever y'all right, right, need right. it again. Okay, so then I just take the um crumbs. Well, I need some gloves, dark, because I just hate feeling the thing. It's a gloves. Some black gloves. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's a box. Oh, I see them. I see them. How she got everything else? These? Oh, yeah, you can use them too. How she got everything else, but. Nah, at least I got some in here. I mean, <laughs> praise the Lord. Oh, goodness. Baby, she got everything. It's like a school cafeteria over here, but she don't have no measuring stuff. No measuring stuff. Cups or spoons. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. So I got my gloves, and we're gonna take our. Um, you want to make sure it's small, like your crumbles are small. Like you can put them in the um, what's that thing? Food, Food processor. processor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To get them, but you want to get it while your cupcakes, while your icing is still kind of wet on there. So it'll stick, but I think I done let them sit there for a minute, so. Oh, it's sticky, girl. It's sticky. That looks so good. 
I'm gonna let Dark get with a taste test and let y'all know. She gonna let y'all know if it ain't in y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all if it's too greasy now. Cause you know some people <laughs> bread will be too greasy. <laughs> or oh, have too much uh red food color. It be like burgundy. Uh-huh. It don't be red. It be burgundy. But let me finish these up, y'all, and then I'll be back. <laughs>